Chrissy's a bike mechanic now. <laughs> What's up everybody? We have made it to Newfoundland and it's a gorgeous day. We're gonna go for a bike ride. Uh, but first, check it out. Uh, we have to build our bikes back up. We had transported them on the plane in your standard bike box. And uh, so there is some assembly required for getting back on the trail. Got Chrissy's wheels right here. This is Christina's giant trance. Uh, 2014, extra small. <laughs> and uh, first thing we do is just unwrap some of these things. I have some cardboard around the rear triangle. Back guy off. I've got the rear derailleur removed and uh, zip tied to the rear axle. Chrissy's bike, anyway, is in pretty good shape. No damage. No damage. Right. Uh, I don't have my tools. You want to grab the Yeah, I sure there? can. As you can see, pile of stuff. What am I looking for? Seat pack. Ah. Uh, seat pack. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is where I keep my uh, bike multi tool. This guy here. First thing to do, well, I'm going to put the uh, handlebars back on. Basically, to make this bike narrow enough, you need to remove the stem. So, now we're going to put the wheels on. <laughs> <laughs> good catch, good catch. <laughs> Let me see which one's which. You get out. This breaks out, doesn't it? Disc brakes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes it so awesome. Yeah, no, these are great bikes. My, like... Tiny little hands can fit around these little brakes. Oh, jeez, that's, that's different, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just tiny, a nice one finger, yeah. one finger maneuver. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot the same as your Harley. It's yeah. just like all downsized, right? Yeah. 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 WestJet didn't damage it, and it was inexpensive. Yeah, it was. It was like Twenty-five bucks. Not bad at all. Not bad. Just one check bag, Five. they called it. One that, wasn't it? Uh, mine was like a second check bag, but yours was, you didn't bring anything, so it was just your first check bag, which was only $25 plus tax. Yeah. It was great. I'm going to come around. Screw that back on. Rear derailleur. That's the part where it starts to get scary for me is derailleur times. Yeah, it's all like still adjusted and everything. It's just off. Okay. And it just screws in there, right? Okay, yeah. Real simple. Uh, wait a second. Most bikes are pretty much the same here. Yep. This here is a, re a replacement derailleur hanger. Why is it loose? That shouldn't be loose. That might have taken a knock. These are great because they if you if you beat that up you can just get a replacement. Oh yeah. From the manufacturer and uh, saves your frame, right? Yeah. yeah, it's loose. Cool. Hopefully not damaged. Yeah. In transit. Yeah. Alright, cool. Now we can screw the derailleur on. So we did handlebars, derailleur, <coughs> then the wheels go on, and then... And just nip everything up and adjust. Okay. So it's really pretty quick once you're... Oh, and pedals. Pedals. Yeah, I, I just can't get over how relatively easy it was to do this from... Open it fly our bikes from Vancouver to Newfoundland. Yeah, it was actually super easy. Wasn't it? Yeah, like we packed it in these boxes and then we we brought them to the airport and they had to open the boxes and inspect them and then they told us to deflate the tires. We didn't stuff it full of clothes or anything, just a few items and they were happy about that. And they only charged us the cost of a checked bag. 
which was pretty incredible. Thanks, WestJet. Yeah. So you wrap the petals in an envelope? Yeah, because uh, they're really sharp. They have a lot of pins, and they'll just rip your, your paint apart inside. So you want to package them separately mm -hmm. and uh, so they don't beat anything up. Yeah. See those pins? <laughs> oh, that's right. Oops. I'm they're great at scratching there. paint and ruining things. <laughs> so this is left. <clears throat> so we're just putting back together a bike after transporting it from Vancouver to Newfoundland on the plane. Yeah. In a bike box. Coming together quick. Yeah. It's, uh, actually, you can kind of see the packing that's hap happening in there. It's kind of dark, but... Um, pedals were off. Seat post was remained on because it was uh it's a, a dropper post so it's not super quick release right like the post was still on right greg the post was still on yeah yeah so it was just the wheels we had to deflate the wheels um but they didn't seem to either notice or care about our shocks they are full of air as well but they didn't seem to care about that so yeah we had to m mostly break it down pretty much but uh just in all the quick release sort of spots. Oh, the handlebar too came off, didn't it? Yeah, it had been off, so. Yeah, handlebar was off. Yeah. Yeah, I am I'm missing a washer that fell off. Okay. Yeah, just doing the other pedal and then your bike will be done. So it's really, you're only using that one multi-tool, aren't you? Yeah, this thing covers it all. Cool. Okay, so Chrissy's gonna do my bike now. Yeah, I'll talk. <laughs> I'll talk, you film. <laughs> Go. Like the drawers on you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be sure to check everything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, Greg showed me how to unpack the bike or put it back together, and so now I'm gonna do his since he did mine. So I just unscrewed the stem, stem bolt. Stem bolt? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Way does that go? Like this way? With brake is facing upwards? Yeah. No? No. <laughs> this way. Oh, turn it around. Turn it around. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to and look that. at the cables too. You, you want those, you know, the way they would normally be. Hey, I'm getting grease on. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> want to go get a paper towel for you? Sure. Okay. Well, that's looking pretty good. Yeah. Like that? That's oh, looking pretty good. Yep, 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 okay. yep. The cables, should I leave them the way they were? Yep, that's about right. Okay, cool. Great. So that top stem cap there, yeah. it holds the fork. If you just picked up the bike now, it would just slip out. The okay. fork would slip out and fall. Okay. So that all that does is keeps the headset and the fork and everything together. What really tightens it on, tightens the stem on are these bolts here that one okay on the other side this so this one you don't want to go you don't want to reef on it you just make it snug okay for now like that just yeah, like that's fine yeah and you just nip up these guys a little bit that guy and that guy like this is see thank you probably want to wait till you're done yeah that's what <laughs> i'm thinking is it going to be the same one no it needs to be smaller oh. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> tighten them tight tight just still uh, just no, hand tight hand tight and then we'll um we'll adjust the wrong way is it yeah. it did seem to be loose <laughs> righty tighty right okay that's great just a little bit okay we'll want to adjust these back and forth when we get the wheel on okay so great. now your wheel yep yeah back's got gears front does not the front does not have gears yep Okay. So the rod will help you there. Thank Lift you. Oh, you just gotta remove the axle first. Just, just by quick release. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you stick it in the notch there on the side of it. Like I'll show you. Um, see right there, or in the back, there's an opening on the bottom there. Oh yeah. And you, you stick that into it. Okay. Yeah. And then you can unscrew it. Then you can unscrew it. 
on this side. No, no. no. Oh, I it. see, I see. It slots into a little thing. Oh, there you okay. go. Well, that's a handy dandy way of doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a big old axle. And then you just take that out completely take it out. for now. Okay. And then you're gonna seat that in there, being really careful of the, the, the disc. Yeah, the disc is going on that side. Oh, and that would be the disc right there. Okay. What we've done is we've put a cardboard shim in there to keep the brake pads from clenching together and getting stuck. Okay. And stick it gently on there, right? Yeah. Okay. And then line it up with the uh, holes yep. and axle it. Slot there and then carefully. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Double careful, really, because you don't want to cut yourself or mm -hmm. ding up the blade. Hmm. Chrissy's choosing a sawing option. Mm hmm. Because I don't want to flick it at me. I don't want to flick the knife right. at me. Come on. Yeah. Probably dinged up with the blade. <laughs> Let's see it. Nope. Now you gotta the dreaded rear derailleur screw in. Right into here. Yeah. Let's get the right one. Yeah. I think that's the right one. Good dog just had a stamp latch in there. What dog? Good dog right there. What is all the commotion? Entertainment for the dog. Yeah. Tight? Yeah. Not that tight. Not crazy tight, but tighten it up. Okay. Great. And then the, this guy again, right? Excellent. The same way that we did the other one, wherever the notch is. There it is. The only thing you gotta do is you'll have to yep. open the derailleur and make sure the top part goes over the stack there. What about this brake? Does it go, it goes that in? It also too? goes in that. So yeah. you're, you're managing a few things at once. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably, I think it fell out. Nope, I think we're good on that one. Yeah. And that chain has to go over that. Right. Okay. This is always a fun time, uh, fiddling this around. So this chain has to go over, okay. Yep. Knock it down first. There you go. There you go. And now it'll just grab it when you move over it up. There you go. Oh, it's Almost got it on this side. <clears throat> and then. Uh, and then send that. There you go. Because if you uh, if you face it that way and you're running past branches, it's gonna hook. So that was too easy. So Should I be up? tightening it then? If it's going clicking too easy. No, this is different than the old style ones. Okay. That, that's fine. Cool. Why do we wrap the pedals, Chrissy? Because the spikes dig into stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you'll just have to feel out the threading on those because I can't tell you what the thing is. <laughs> they get me every time. Look at those badass pedals, huh? Black Stripe. Black Spire. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to read. Where's the bolt for it? Or did they just screw right on? There. So we got washers on those. That one's got one. But so there's not a, like an end piece? It's so you just screw it on? The Allen thing is right there. Oh, I see. It's, it's so already put in there. Or... And it's already built in. Okay. So I need a bigger one. Just heard of the nice change of switch, yeah. Take that guy off? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Isn't that kind of neat how it's like two and one? Yeah, that is neat. Ding. Clever design. Yeah. Uh, these are usually left and right as well. They're marked on the spindle. You can probably tell by the writing. Uh, you're probably right. Does it say? On the spindle? Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't see. I see writing, but I can't tell what it says. Oh, yeah, it says R. There is an R there. Is that? Yes, does this uh, one say L? Yes, it does. Yeah. Ha! Um, you can just tighten, put it on your hand. That won't work because pedal spin, right? 
So what are you telling me? Yeah, do that. Oh, with this guy. Yeah. This is the guy that needs to spin. Yeah. Okay. And then.